Good day. Today we will discuss arts for quarter 2 module number 7 and 8. Let's begin. Knot tying. This is not just ordinary no tying just to interlock and lock the thread. It is a decorative knot in China, Japan, and Korea. It is used as decorations in pillows, fan tassels, and good luck during Chinese New Year. Have you seen one? The first one you see is the Zhongyuo and Jian knot tying in China. This simple Han Amyusubi is from Japan. It is simple because it looks easy to do, but actually it is the hardest to do. What flower does it symbolize? The knot tying in Korea called Midu Perdoria is like a designer mats. You can use two different colored threads to make it more colorful. Now let us proceed to pottery. It is one of the oldest and most widespread decorative arts, consisting of objects made of clay and hardened with heat. The pottery started as early as the Han and the Chosun dynasty. The materials used were basically from porcelain, earthen clay, jade, and many more. China, Japan, and Korea have different pots, vases, and vessels used during celebrations, festivals, and special occasions. We had been trading with the Chinese long before Spaniards colonized Philippines, and pottery is one of the main trade. In China, the materials used is made from ceramic or porcelain. China's pottery is usually white and smooth in texture. The painting in the pottery you see is handmade. Do you still recall the Chinese painting? In Japan, material for pottery are made of ceramics. They used this pottery in tea shops or tea ceremony. While in Korea, materials used in pottery is made of celadon. Korea's pottery makes a unique color and artistry or greenware. That is why the color of the pottery has somewhat green. Korea's pottery makes a unique color and artistry. Good morning. Today, we are going to watch a video of making a simple calligraphy in origami. Remember that calligraphy is the art of beautiful handwriting. Origami which is very popular is an art of paper folded. This is for the second quarter module number 5 and 6. Let's begin. Hi everyone, my name is Mukta and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you a very interesting technique to create these unique and beautiful watercolor backgrounds using Camlin brush pens. I hope you would like this technique as much as I do and I'll be sharing more such interesting techniques in my upcoming videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and also do press the bell icon to stay notified as soon as I upload a new video. So now let's get started.
I do hope you hope you will be inspired of doing calligraphy and origami. You can try to experiment to make it your own or you can copy from a different beautiful designs. Thank you and God bless!